Beyond the Hype, a fashion lifestyle tech podcast. Presented by Stephanie Williams and Greg Lewis. Okay, so have you ever spent like hours online trying to find the perfect thing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you scroll and scroll and nothing seems quite right. It's easy to get lost in the endless options. Right. Like last week, I was trying to find a new pair of headphones. I swear, it took forever. Yeah, I feel that. Online shopping can be a bit of a maze sometimes. Exactly. But get this. Google says they're using AI to totally change that, to completely revamp how we shop online. It's a pretty bold claim. Right. They're calling it a revolution. And from a tech perspective, it's kind of hard to disagree. This isn't just a small update. It's a complete overhaul of their entire shopping platform built around AI. So are we talking like robot assistants picking out our groceries kind of revolution? Well, not quite robots, but think of it more like having an incredibly smart personal shopper. The heart of this whole thing is something Google calls the shopping graph. The shopping graph. OK, sounds kind of mysterious. What is it? It's basically this mind-blowingly massive database of products. We're talking over 45 billion. Billion with a B? Billion with a B. That's every single thing Google thinks you might possibly want to buy. And the crazy part is they're using AI to actually make sense of it all. So how does AI even come into play with all of that information. Google has these new AI models called Gemini. And these Gemini models, they're designed to sift through all that data in the shopping graph and create a personalized experience for each shopper. Okay, personalized shopping sounds great in theory, but how does it actually work in practice? Let's say you need a new winter jacket. Not just any jacket, but one that can handle the Seattle weather rain, wind, you name it. You go to Google and type in men's winter jacket for Seattle. And I'm guessing those old search results, pages of irrelevant stuff, are a thing of the past. Exactly. In the past, you might have gotten results for parkas meant for Arctic expeditions. Oh, I've totally been there. When all you really need is something to survive a drizzle while you grab a coffee. Exactly. But now, these Gemini models, they kick in. They understand your location. They might even factor in your past purchases or what people in Seattle are buying. So it's like Google's reading my mind but in a good way. Exactly. And then boom, you're looking at a curated list of jackets that are actually a good fit for your needs. So instead of feeling overwhelmed, it's like having that personal shopper handing you exactly what you're looking for. Precisely. And they're even experimenting with AI-generated product summaries. So imagine, instead of reading through tons of reviews, you get a quick, AI-powered rundown of the key features and what people are saying. Okay, that's actually really cool. Less time scrolling more time deciding. Mm -hmm. Speaking of making things easier, you mentioned something earlier about virtual try-on. Mm -hmm. What is that? Like some kind of futuristic fitting room. It's pretty close, actually. Think augmented reality. You'd be able to see how those jackets we were just talking about would look on you virtually. Wait, so I can see what that jacket would look like on me in my living room without even touching it. Exactly. Wow, that's wild. It's pretty amazing. No more guessing about sizes, no more wondering if that color will actually look good on you. So does that mean the days of ordering five different sizes just to return four are over? That's the hope. For retailers, this could be huge. Think about it. Fewer returns means less waste and lower costs. And for shoppers, less hassle. It's a win-win. Exactly. Everybody wins. <laughs> now, what about those times I'm not even sure what I want. You know, when you're just browsing, see what catches your eye. Does AI have an answer for that, too? So we've talked about AI picking out jackets for me, virtually trying them on. That all sounds pretty futuristic. It's definitely a big shift, but it's all about making the experience better, you know? Right. But will it actually make things better? Like, for the average person? Yeah. Or are we just talking about cool tech for the sake of cool tech? I think it has the potential to genuinely improve things. Think about all the time we waste now just trying to find what we're looking for online, scrolling through endless pages, dealing with confusing websites. It's a pain. Okay, yeah, I can definitely relate to that. And that's what AI is trying to solve, making it more intuitive, more personalized, so you can find what you need quickly and easily. Okay, that part makes sense. But will AI suck the joy out of shopping? What about that feeling of, I found it? That's a really interesting question, you know? It's, a, it's something to be mindful of, for sure. But think about it this way. 
How much joy is there in scrolling through pages of irrelevant search results or battling a frustrating website? Fair point. If AI can help us bypass all that frustration and get right to the good stuff, wouldn't that actually enhance the joy of finding that perfect item? Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Less time wasted means more time to enjoy what I bought. Exactly. And not only that, but when you're presented with things you're actually interested in, it can reduce buyer's remorse. No more impulse purchases you regret later. Yeah, that's a win for everyone. Yeah. But it's not just shoppers who benefit, right? What about the businesses? How can they take advantage of all this AI stuff? Oh, for retail? Tailors, this is huge. Like, imagine you're a small business owner and you've got this amazing product, but you're struggling to get it seen online. Right, it's stuff to stand out. But with AI, you can now showcase your products to a really specific audience who are actually interested in what you're selling. It's like having a superpower. Right, and it goes beyond just targeting. AI can help with things like pricing, personalizing marketing campaigns, even anticipating future trends. So it's like having a whole team of experts all powered by AI. Exactly. But remember, even with AI, the human touch is still important. It's about finding that balance between automation and genuine connection. That makes a lot of sense. It's not about replacing humans, it's about empowering them with better tools. Exactly. And that's what makes this whole thing so fascinating to me. It's not just about technology, it's about how we use technology to create better experiences for everyone involved. It's about working smarter, not harder. Exactly. And creating a future where shopping is more enjoyable, more efficient, and more sustainable for everyone. But as with any new technology, it's not without its challenges. Remember those experimental labels we talked about earlier? Yeah. What's the deal with those? Does that mean these features aren't ready for prime time yet? Well, not necessarily. It just highlights the fact that AI is constantly learning and evolving. Google is basically saying, hey, we're still figuring this out. We need your feedback to make it better. So it's a work in progress. Exactly. And that's something to keep in mind as you start exploring these new shopping tools yourself. It's exciting to think about where this could all lead, but... I guess we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out in the real world. Exactly. It's a rapidly changing landscape, and understanding these changes is key to navigating the future of retail. It's like we're on the cusp of something big. This whole AI thing feels like it's just getting started. It really does. And it'll be fascinating to see how it reshapes the shopping experience in the years to come. Well, I'm both excited and maybe a little terrified to see what the future holds. Me too. But mostly excited, the possibilities are pretty incredible when you think about it. Now, you've got me thinking about the big picture here. Where does it all end? What does the future of shopping even look like in this AI-powered world? So, we've talked about the present, but what about the future? Where does AI shopping go from here? What's the end game? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It's kind of a lot to wrap your head around. It really is. Will AI become the ultimate shopping assistant, you know, making everything super efficient and personalized? Or will we end up in a world where we're constantly being bombarded with targeted ads and personalized recommendations to the point where we're just mindless consumers? It's a little bit scary when you put it like that. Yeah, it's a fine line. On one hand, I love the idea of getting recommendations tailored to my tastes, having AI find me those hidden gems I never would have discovered on my own. But on the other hand, do I really want algorithms dictating all my purchasing decisions? I think that's the part that makes me a little uneasy. Like what happens to the element of surprise? or the joy of just browsing and stumbling across something unexpected. Exactly. It's like, will we still have that I found it moment if an algorithm is basically leading us there by the hand? Right. And I guess that's where things get a little philosophical, right? It's not just about AI changing how we shop, but also how shopping with AI could change us as consumers. You hit the nail on the head. It's like anything else too much of a good thing can be, well, too much. We need to be mindful of that. So how do we find that balance then mm. between convenience and, you know, preserving our own sense of agency as shoppers? I think it starts with awareness. As we use these AI powered tools, we need to pay attention to how they're influencing our choices. So be more conscious consumers. Exactly. It's about asking yourself, am I really being shown a diverse range of options or am I just stuck in some kind of AI curated echo chamber? And if it feels like the latter, don't be afraid to break free, you know? A adjust your settings, try a different platform, or even just take a break from online shopping altogether. It's a good reminder that we still have the power to choose. We're not just slaves to the algorithm. 
Exactly. And as these technologies evolve, it'll be interesting to see how retailers adapt too. Will they prioritize ethical AI practices? Transparency about how algorithms work? Those are really good questions. It feels like we're just scratching the surface here. We are. And it's up to all of us consumers, retailers, tech companies to figure out how to navigate this new frontier responsibly. It's a brave new world out there, that's for sure. But hey, if AI can help me finally find those perfect headphones, maybe it's not so bad after all. That's the spirit. Embrace the possibilities, but stay informed and keep asking those tough questions. Great advice. As this has been a fascinating deep dive into the world of AI-powered shopping. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure picking your brain. The pleasure was all mine. Always happy to geek out about the future of tech. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning in. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this rapidly evolving landscape. Are you excited about the possibilities or do you share some of our concerns? Beyond the Hype, a fashion lifestyle tech podcast.